All right, there we go, y'all. We about to, uh, we got some armor all. We about to wipe all this down. If y'all don't know, now y'all know. And if you, uh, new to the channel and everything, I used to be a professional detailer once upon a time. Uh, back in the, back in the day when I used to work at Penske and everything, I used to clean up and wash all the commercial vehicles and everything and clean the inside and all that good stuff. So yeah, I used to be a detailer. <gasps> yeah, I used to be a detailer once upon a time, y'all. So yeah, so I pretty much got a good skill of, uh, keeping the inside of uh, most cars cleaned up and everything you know um i recommend if you're gonna clean the inside of your vehicle i recommend you get some armor all uh i wouldn't too much trust the off-brand shit uh armor all does the job y'all it'll have your shit back shining and smelling good and uh looking good too so yeah but let me show you guys what i did so far oh y'all missed it i cleaned the whole entire inside of this car y'all this car was nasty as hell on the inside um where my daughter sits at. It was just horrible looking. Man, if you got kids, y'all can relate to me and everything. So yeah, pretty much back seat, front seat, carpet, all that stuff. Throughout whatever trash I was in here. Uh, I'm not finna drag it out and make a long boring ass video about it, but you know, I cleaned this thing up. Yup. And if y'all like what you see over there, then there y'all go. <laughs> but yeah, let me show you guys everything too. I cleaned the trunk too. Yeah, I've got the trunk cleaned up. Yeah, I've got the trunk cleaned up, looking good back here. Got to have jumper cables, you never know. Um, if y'all been paying attention to my videos and everything, I've already washed this car a few days ago, so I do not need to wash the car. So all I pretty much got to do, had to do is uh, clean the inside. So yeah, that's how it's looking. It's looking good again, and it's smelling good. Yup. This just shows you right here that you can have kids and uh, still have a clean car. That's just me. Yep. Yep, nice and clean in here. Nice and clean in here. So yeah, I'm about to clean all this out right now. Uh, stay tuned. <clears throat> I'm gonna clean all this off. Gonna clean everything. How this thing shining again, man? How this thing shining, shining, shining again? Only thing I gotta do is the doors, the dash, and the cup holder, and the center right here. This is cloth interior, so it ain't like uh on my Kaiser three. If y'all remember when I used to have my Kaiser three hundred, man, I used to have to go high and low just to uh clean that car up, wiping everything down. Like I mean, it was a pain and the ass for real for real so it's not that bad with this car like i said it's just the dash console and uh doors not all the doors are crappy but <clears throat> this one right here is for sure for sure so yeah let's get to work let's get to work let's get to work stay tuned right now let's all get right, to work here's the finished product i got this door down i got the other door down like I said, this car is leather interior, so I don't gotta do too much. I did this door, I knocked out that door, I did the steering wheel, dashboard, all up under here, whatever I can get, right here. I did the whole entire dashboard, yeah, yeah, it looks a little different, I look a little bit better now. It ain't all dusty and shit, so I did kinda get the shine back on, you feel me? Um, center console. All that shit, hell yeah, y'all. Let's get up out of here. Get the AC back on. It's hot. It is hot, hot, you guys. Hot, hot. Can't forget the the bread and the butter, the moolah. Ooh, a two forty SX. Okay. Ooh, shit. I haven't seen one of those in years. A two forty. I haven't seen one of those in years. Yeah, I grew up to those, y'all. Those was, that's like one of my that's like one of my other childhood uh that's like one of my other childhood dream cars right there. Yeah. The the Nissan 240, the Nissan 240 right there. Yeah, I grew up to these. Everybody had one of those back when I was growing up and everything. You know, I grew up in the era, you guys, where it was like it was like muscle cars versus JDM. You feel me? It was like a little tense. Uh, friendly competition. That was like in the 2000s and whatnot. 
You know, that's the era that I grew up in. And that's the era that that's the era that I grew up in. Real talk though. That is the era that I grew up in, man. So yeah, you know, that's why if y'all see if y'all be paying attention, how I be talking about certain things and whatnot, is cause that's I grew up in a certain particular era where it was JDM versus American muscle cars and it was some competition out here on the streets. I was a little kid at the time and Fast and the Furious didn't make it no better did they didn't make it in, you know made it you know Fast and the Furious made it much more better and Foos was hella creative with the cars back then compared to now. Now you got everybody trying to do the same thing. Everybody trying to have the same rap, same paint job, the same forgiados, the same Ruchis, you know, the same like everything. You feel what I, you y'all feel where I'm coming from? It's nothing creative today. You feel me? That's why a lot of times on my channel, y'all see me uh bringing up different cars. Look at that for a Nissan for an example. Um uh, uh that new car that my, my lady wants, she wants me to trade this car in for it. You know, that's why, that's why I try to bring different cars to the channel. Not just uh, Chevrolet, not just GM and Mopar, you feel me? I try to bring out uh, everything, everything that I grew up on. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to be a part of the uh, the stuff that's that's out right now. Yeah, don't get me wrong, though. Those Mopars is badass. Those Mopars is badass. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, those Mopars, like the, uh, the Hellcat, the Scat Pack, the, the 392 Charger, the 392 Durango, the 392 Jeep. The TRX, yeah. Those is like my dream cars as an adult. But I got a lot of childhood dream cars, you guys, that I want to get and that I want to, uh, you know, I want to, you know, I want to I wanna buy one day. You feel me? You, you feel what I'm saying? So, yeah. Let's get up out of here, man. Feeling real good. All right, shit. <laughs> Oh man. See, I ain't the only one cleaning rims and shit. I'm not the only one cleaning rims and shit. Real talk though. I'm not the only one that be cleaning my rims. Look at that. That's a single cab GMC truck right there. Homeboy sitting on that floor wiping on rims down. You feel me? That's uh pride right there. You feel me? You want your rims to be clean. You don't want your rims to be built up with residue, dry water spot, dry water marks, and all that stuff, man. Uh, hold on real quick. Let me uh do some on my phone. Guys, let me uh, put this thing back in drive. Let's go. But yeah, homeboy cleaning them rims, man. That truck look clean. Yeah, he cleaning the rims. That's me right there, y'all. I ain't gonna lie. That's me right there. That's me right there when I'm on the ground cleaning the rims of my truck and everything. But yeah, man, it's AC feeling good, man. AC feeling real good. Got a clean car finally. Shit. See, I got kids. I got kids and I still got a clean whip. Both of my both of my uh both of my whips, the truck too. As a matter of fact, I gotta bring the truck, I probably gotta bring the truck up here tomorrow to uh get cleaned out. Yep. It's probably exactly what I gotta do. Yeah, exactly what I gotta do. Yeah, let me uh bust a U-turn. I gotta come back this way. I don't know where the hell I even came back this way, y'all. And my apologies for the sun glare, everybody. It be like that sometimes. You feel me? It really truly do be like that sometimes. Yeah. No. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, that AC. Man, that AC feels so good. I know y'all hear that shit on camera, and I know y'all niggas can feel it. Do not come this way. Is this nigga really gonna come this way? Is this nigga really gonna drive the opposite direction, bro? Oh, it's full is stupid, bro. He's really gonna drive the opposite way. Wow. Wow. Anyway. Uh, besides all that, y'all, I'm going to get up out of here, man. I'm going to call it a day with this video and uh, get started on some more stuff for uh, tomorrow. Man, the grind don't stop, y'all. I want to say thank you to everybody for tuning in on this video. And, uh, you know, grow to 100,000. Hit that like button. Hit that share button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new to the channel. And uh, tell a friend, tell a friend, tell your mama, tell your daddy, tell your, you know, tell everybody, y'all. We're trying to get to 100,000. Let's get it. Let's go.